everything's all here. <laughs> Welcome. That time of year. All right, Steve. So the players and coaches, all of you guys have been saying, despite the success of last season, the season before, you have to turn the page. Is there anything you can tell right now, even, even with having the same core group of guys, the characteristics of this team, the flavor that this season might have? Anything you know right now before tip off? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're different. You know, we have um, we're seeing some young guys. Uh, Damian Jones will start center. Um, it, it, it has a different feel. You know, last year we came back with virtually the, the same team. You know, uh, coming off the bench, we kind of knew what we had. Um, this year's different, and we, we're going to have room for growth, which I love. I don't think we'll be quite as sharp. Um, Know, opening night as we will be in a few weeks um, because uh, our defense has to take shape. Um, Draymond missed a lot of camp. Um, Damian's back there anchoring a lot of things. He's going to see some brand new things and, uh, that he didn't see in Santa Cruz. and uh, So that part's different. Um, our bench is different. Um, it's uh, We're going to get DeMarcus in here at some point playing. Um, I think our fans have a lot to look forward to in terms of watching this season unfold and watching our team grow. Steve, uh, Dan with the Los Angeles Times. Um, this also is kind of the start of a, an ending for this organization in terms of being in this building and, and being in Oakland. <coughs> it, it feels like that this team is connected with the city, particularly with this group that since you've been there. What have you noticed in that connection? And, is there any like bittersweet feelings about starting kind of the last chapter of that? We love Oakland. We we uh, we feel very uh, close to the people here, uh, whether it's walking into Oracle uh, or walking around our facility and going out to lunch and uh, wandering around, um, you know, here, seeing our fans, um, seeing people we know. Uh, we know that the new arena is going to be amazing. We're looking forward to it, uh, but we're also going to miss Oracle. We're going to miss Oakland. It's not, there's not an easy way to, to slice it. It's just, um, it's, a, it's a great move for the organization. We know that, uh, but this place is special. And uh, so we want to make sure this is a special season. Is it, is it a unique relationship in your mind? The, the relationship between players and city, I mean, versus the style of like Yeah, it feels unique. Um, I think the success that we've had, you know, over, over the past years, um, has been a source of pride for the city, and uh, we feel that same pride being part of the city. So um, the biggest thing for us is, um, you know, we, we have always been the Bay Area's team. Uh, you know, since since it began as the San Francisco Warriors, and uh, that's not going to change. Um, but there's no getting around the fact that we're, we're leaving Oakland, and uh, so we. Uh, that motivates us, that motivates our guys. And as I said, we're looking forward to, to what's next. It's gonna be an incredible uh, next era for us. And, uh, so it's, uh, you know, it, you have to, to look at it both ways and this is the best thing for our franchise and we're all excited about that. But we gotta make this, this a special year for our fans here. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned to Karen before, all the new faces and kind of the different vibe around things. You, going back to even, Media Day, you talked about wanting to kind of change the tenor as opposed to last year with have it be more positive and kind of have more energy around the team. We know you haven't gotten into the season yet, but do you feel like at least through these first few weeks you've been able to kind of see that kind of happening in yeah, a different tone? I do, I do. I think part of that is the youth and energy of, of uh, the back end of the roster, the new guys. I think part of it is we've had a, a really practical training camp, staying in the Pacific time zone. We were fresh and ready. Last year we were jet lagged, and uh, it, it felt different. And, um, so this is a, a, a really solid way to uh, to start the season. And uh, you know we'll play tonight, and it'll be fun. And then there'll be 81 more, and, and we'll probably get that question over and over again. And you just go out, and you play, and you navigate the season, and uh, you see what happens. Steve, along those lines, Draymond said morning that this, this group is more locked in than, than a year ago. Uh, you, you mentioned the youth, but also, the, it, do you see it in the, in the veterans too, as they've incorporated the new, new young guys? And I have, I have one follow-up. Um, the three trophies are out for, for all the employees to, to pose for photos as they come in. I, I think that's kind of a neat 
touch. Um, could, could you touch on both of those? Um, okay, now I'm confused. Where did we start? Um, well, Draymond, said that Draymond said we're more locked in. And then a year ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think, uh, um, you know, I think, as I mentioned last year, we had the same team coming back. Um, we had a uh, difficult preseason, and, and so it, it felt like game one felt like game 41. A couple of our guys said that to me, and I, th and I think that was accurate. This feels like game one. You know, this is uh, this. We can feel the energy and the excitement. Part of that is the youth. Part of that is, uh, you know, our older guys have had to take on more of a leadership role too, and that's a little different. Um, guys like Kevin and, and Clay and, and, um, and Andre, you know, they they are now some of the elder statesmen, uh, as opposed to Zaza and David. So that changes the dynamics. And then, um, as far as the um, trophies being out. Um, uh, one of the hallmarks of our organization is that you know, everybody matters. Everybody is pulling in the same direction, and we know that everybody's doing their part. And uh, those those championships represent the work that we've all done. Um, obviously, the players do the most work um, on the floor to, to to earn the championship. But we recognize the efforts of everybody, whether it's people selling tickets or uh, you know the ushers here in, in the building or uh, community relations, media relations, except for Raymond, he gets way too much ink already. <laughs> so we're not going to talk too much about Raymond, but uh, this is how we operate. You know, everybody, strength in numbers. It's not just uh, not just the team, it's the whole organization. Steve, you mentioned yesterday that, you know, you don't want the guys to kind of forget that there's a game to be played tonight, you know, concerned with the ring ceremony and the banner raising. With that being said, though, how much have you encouraged you guys to, you know, enjoy the moment, considering, you know, your the unique situations back to back champions and whatnot? Uh, I haven't said a whole lot. We talked this morning at shoot around about uh, what to expect. And, um, I think um, we all we all know what a special night it is and what an accomplishment it is. So I don't need to set that up. Uh, they're going to enjoy it and, and uh, they're going to they've earned it and, and we're all looking forward to it. And Coach, I'm the same thing on the ring ceremony. You've been to a lot of them, a lot of championships. Do you have any funny or favorite memories from all the different years that you've done this? And someone said something weird or funny. Man, put me on the spot here. Um, <laughs> we don't really get to say much. We walk out and they give us the ring, and then you know David Stern used to say a few words. Usually, usually the owners will say a few words. Maybe you know the one, of, one or two players, but. Um, this is it's kind of old business you know it's uh, it's not a it's not really a night for slapstick humor it's uh, the, the the night is really about uh, watching that banner go up uh, even more so than receiving the ring you know the ring is amazing and and gaudy and and uh, kind of ridiculous in many ways uh, but uh, in a great way you know um, it's uh, it's just awesome to to have maybe uncomfortable to wear but an amazing uh, relic and, uh, to, to symbolize what we accomplished. You take it home, you look at it. I don't know anybody who wears wears it. No, years? no, I don't know. I haven't seen any of our guys wear them. It's it's just not just practical. Right. But when the banner goes up, um, that's that's when it hits home, and that's when you share it with the fans and you hear the vibe in the building, and uh, that's what it's about. And it's funny. I, I find myself now thinking about the famous Joe Lake of Night when he said we're going to hang another one um, I think that was 2013 maybe what year was that? They actually did that on his very first night of ownership in 2010. 2010. Lonely Banner. Yeah and uh, everybody laughed. I laughed. I was at home you know. <laughs> Come on the Warriors. And um, so Joe, Joe set the, uh, the goal that night and um, I think uh, there was a young guy named Steph Curry uh, in the building um, who, you know, this, this whole thing has sort of revolved around in many ways as, the, as it's all crystallized. And, um, you know, I always look at the, the teams I played for and why they worked and, you know, Chicago was all about Michael Jordan, but then, you know, you think of all the great people players around Michael Scotty Pippen and Horace Grant and Dennis Rodman and Tony Kukoc you realize you, you know you have to have that that first 
domino has to fall. You know, Michael was the first domino. David Robinson was the first domino to fall in San Antonio. And then it requires some luck. Maybe you get Tim Duncan in the lottery too. Um, or maybe you get Draymond Green with the 35th pick. You know? And as Bob always said, uh, if we were that smart, we wouldn't have taken him 35th. We would have taken him a lot earlier. You know, so you have, there's a lot of luck involved. But but I think that there's a structure that has to be in place that Joe uh, immediately um, went to work on when he bought this team with Peter. And it's really it, tonight is a night to sort of reflect on that. And then all of a sudden you warm up and you got to play the Oklahoma City. Thunder. Last one for Mark. Hey, Steve, after seeing Damian in preseason, what's your sense of his readiness to not necessarily play better than some of these top centers, but in terms of just embracing the challenge and not being too many Yeah, it's an interesting challenge is, you know, first three games are, are Adams, Gobert, and Jokic. So um, thanks a lot, schedule makers. <laughs> but that's oh, great. You know, yeah, I thought he had a great preseason. He's got a lot of potential, and he's learning. And, our guys are going to help him, and um, it's not going to be it's not going to be smooth and easy all the time. But uh, he's got a lot of potential, and he's he's done really well. Uh, he's earned this opportunity, and uh, it'll be fun to watch him. Great, thank Thanks. you. Appreciate that.